Hey everyone, welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. I have a special order today for Lisa. So we've been going back and forth by email for a while, finally figured it out. So she sent me four images. However, these images came rectangular, like this big. And she wanted them in circle coasters, which is pretty impossible to do because you'd be cutting off a lot of the words. However, then she asked if I could do square. And then I remembered on my Cricut, and if you guys have a Cricut, you can do this. You will import the image that you're sent onto the Cricut program. Once they're on there, you can resize the image. So I resized the image to square. And because I had these four inch square coasters, so I resized these, but the problem with that is these are rounded corners. And um, I didn't round the corners on the Cricut. I probably could have, but I didn't even think about it till just now. So I sized these 3.8 inches by 3.8 inches, and I still did have to trim them. Now I did dog ear cut the edges, so you can see a little bit of the bottom that'll be coming through. And I did cut them just a little bit smaller because she wanted this gorgeous, well, she didn't really ask for this by name, but she said glittery and gold. And I'm like, I've got the perfect glitter. And this is my crown of gold glitter, which is beautiful. So that's going to be the backing. And I kind of wanted to see it a little bit on the front. So I'm going to put these centered the best that I can over the gold glitter that way you'll see them coming out so these i just printed on normal vinyl that i would use for a tumbler and then i took my mod podge matte spray clear finish spray paint stuff and i coated them twice just to hold in the ink so they will shine right back up as soon as we pour the top coat on and the top coat she wanted the sparkle dust that i use all the time so these are going to be beautiful when they're finished. So right now I'm just going to set these aside and I'm going to mix up four ounces, one ounce for each coaster and douse it with my crown of gold glitter. I'm going to be using my Fast Cure uh, by Let's Resin for our Fast Cure and I'm going to set a timer for about an hour and a half. And then in an hour and a half, it should be really tacky so I don't have to like glue those down. And I'm not going to take the backing off of this. I'm going to keep it on there because there's no need to do that. I'm going to just an extra layer of protection for the for the uh, back of the coaster. And we don't need the sticky part on there anyway. So we're just going to lay it down as if it's a piece of paper, like scrap paper or whatever. So let me mix up some resin. Get some uh, glitter in there and start pouring, you guys. These are going to be gorgeous when they're finished. All right, I got it all mixed up and I did go measure these just to make sure I was right. They are three ounce, they'll hold three ounces domed. So I did one ounce and then I'll do two ounces on the top. Um, I'm gonna just douse this with my glitter and I'm gonna use this tiny little cup to kind of control how much goes in each one so one's not thicker than the other one. That holds approximately one ounce. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't know that it needs suspended with the Elmer's glue. I'm just trying to think here. Cause it's going to be so thin anyways. So I think I, I'm, gonna, I'm going to skip the Elmer's glue. Excuse me guys, I'm still sucking on cough drops for my voice. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me. I feel okay, you know, other than the cough, so still sound a little funny but hey life doesn't stop right look at how nice that looks it's gorgeous I just love this glitter it's one of my favorites um let me just pour this in one per get it spread around and I've already set a timer for about an hour and a half and that way it'll be really really sticky now if you do it too soon I find that it will buckle your picture, like your picture will get wavy underneath. So I don't, you almost want to do it too late rather than too soon, you know what I mean? I'm just going to get these all poured in and see if there's any more to split between the four. Because you can kind of see the waviness of the papers. I've had to redo coasters for orders 
I didn't do them on camera or I would have showed you what I'm talking about, but I had somebody order a couple coasters with some scrapbook paper in them and I was going somewhere. So I placed the papers in too early and it did wave the, the actual paper. So I ended up redoing them because there was no way I'm going to sell something that I wouldn't be happy with. So that's, yeah, that's how I learned that. <laughs> By accident, of course, we always learn from our mistakes, right? I try to pass them on to you so you don't have to make the same mistakes that I make. All right, I'm just gonna kinda split the rest between the, t the four as equally as possible. And then we'll get it spread around. And then it's a waiting game. That's it. These are so simple. Simple yet effective. Okay. Really, you won't see bubbles because of all the glitter. So that's good. I'm glad I was able to resize them for her because they are really, really pretty photos that she had. I'm not sure where she got them. But um, yeah, just, you know, if you don't think you can figure something out, just step back away for a couple days or whatever until the idea comes to you. I don't use my Cricut often to resize images, but I have in the past a long time ago. And I remember doing it and I'm like, wait a minute. I think I could do that. And then instead of printing it on your Cricut, there's a print and cut feature. And that's the feature you're gonna use. So it lets you print something on your printer then transfer it to your Cricut if you're gonna cut it after the fact, which I don't. I didn't use my Cricut at all for these pictures. I only use the software to resize the image for me. So your Cricut can probably do things you didn't know it could do. All right, that's it. That's beautiful. Love the glitter. I'm just going to make sure they're all level. And that's all you really want is just enough to cover the bottom. You don't need any more than that because it's the bottom of the coaster. All right, I'm going to walk away for an hour and a half. It's been like an hour and 40 minutes, uh, about 10 minutes longer than I wanted to. And if you touch it, it's like really, really, really stringy and the string doesn't break. That's really what I'm looking for. So it should hold really, really well. So I'm just gonna kinda bend these straight and as good as I can, get them in the center of the coaster and it's holding really nicely today. And you just kind of go over it with your hand to get any bubbles out of from behind. These curled because I cut them smaller, but it's not a big deal. This is like an hour and 40 minutes seems to be really, really good timing for this. My house is at about 76 degrees in here. So, I mean, your temperature of your room is going to affect it as well. I'm just trying to get them as even as possible from top to bottom and side to side. All right, two down. Looking good, none of them are curling or wavy or anything. I'm just gonna go along all the edges, try to get them to touch the resin like glue. This one 
didn't get the edges done. All right. I'm just going to let these sit and cure. I'm not going to help them along any. It seems like if I help this kind of project, it ruins it. By help, I mean heat mat curing machine. I'm not going to do that again. I ruined a set with that before because I was impatient. So I'm just going to let them sit. All right. Be right back. They are all cured. It's been probably six hours. I've mixed up eight more ounces of my casting resin and I'm just gonna add a tiny little bit of the sparkle dust that she wanted. I don't want to overpower them because you wanna be able to read the words. And I'm just gonna fill them up and dome them really nice. And hopefully there'll be no trimming when we're done. I am going to watch them for a while just to make sure no bubbles if I didn't miss something. I don't want any bubbles coming out from underneath the vinyl. See all the sparkle in there? I didn't pull the bubbles out because the sparkle dust will hide any bubbles. So I didn't do the extra step. I'm just going to pour from eye level so I can see exactly how high it's coming. Let me just move my little mixing tool out of the way. They look pretty good. These two here on the end just need to be coaxed over here. I have a tiny left, but I don't want to overfill them because I don't want them coming out. I'm just going to spray them with alcohol, cover them up so they don't get any dust in them if they wait. And we will unmold and look at the back tomorrow, guys. It's the next afternoon and they are hard, um, not fully cured. I'm gonna keep them a couple days before I mail anything like this out. So let's just see what they look like on the backs. Cause obviously you see what the fronts look like. Beautiful, of course, love the glitter. Very pretty. I'm not gonna cover the edges. Um, I think if she decides she wants them covered, she could do that, so I don't want to have to create more work if she didn't want it on there. Because you can see the glitter from the sides, which is kind of nice. So, yes, nothing spectacular unmolding because we kind of already knew. And they're all the same. I just love the holographics in the gold. The little glittery fronts that she asked for. I don't know that you could see it very well because, of course, the camera does not pick up what I am seeing. And this one, they all look really good. Pretty even around the sides. This one, you could see the sparkle on the horse. It looks gorgeous. I kept checking them to make sure they weren't creating bubbles so this one is really pretty too i love that shimmer of course the back is the same 
And that is it, you guys. Another simple video you guys can recreate. You don't have to use vinyl printed, but if you have a good printer and you have vinyl, go for it. Print some images. Resize them how you want to if you have a Cricut. Or just use scrapbook paper, use wrapping paper, use napkins, use whatever you want. If you're not good at choosing colors or if you're brand new at uh, resin and you're not sure about techniques and the outcome effects, this is a great way to start with resin. Pop something beautiful inside the coaster, sandwich it between some resin, and you will have some beautiful makes. All right, guys, I'm going to get you some final pictures. Thanks for coming in today, listening to my crazy voice, and I will see you all tomorrow. Have a blessed day, guys. Bye-bye.